हेलो स्टूडेंट्स चैप्टर वन टॉपिक वन पॉइंट ट्वेल्व डाइपोल इन ए यूनिफॉर्म एक्सटर्नल फील्ड बिफोर डाइव इन टू दिस टॉपिक लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट यूनिफॉर्म एंड नॉन यूनिफॉर्म इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एज शोन इन फिगर वी कैन क्लियरली सी इन दैट the electric field lines are equidistances and they are in same manners throughout the figure so this is an example of uniform electric field uniform electric field means electric field does not change with respect to time and distance this is illustrate of non uniform external field we can clearly see that the lines are not equidistant where lines are crowded it shows strong electric field and where lines are far away from each other it describe weak electric field let's understand dipole in a uniform external field with its diagram as shown in figure electric field in positive y direction and this is a dipole its dipole moment from negative to the positive this is a electric field and it is a dipole moment from negative to positive angle between them is theta is a theta now electric field on plus q is upper direction electric field of minus q is in lower direction how let's see electric field from positive to negative from positive to negative negative positive attract each other positive negative attract each other by attraction the force is in direction of the negative side direction of the positive side is here here two forces plus q e and minus q e are equal in magnitudes but opposite in direction both forces are opposite but they are not collinear therefore they form a couple chapter number 7 standard 11 and a couple produce a torque let's see what is the basic equation of the torque basic equation of the torque is tau is equals to r cross f as we know that r is equals to the distance between force is 2a see distance between two charge is equal to distance between two forces q e f is equals to q into e how this chapter topic 1.8 therefore take a magnitude of the torque 2 a q e sin theta where 2 a q is a dipole moment it's p e sin theta now torque tau is equals to p e sin theta by magnitude and by direction it is p cross 
E. Let's see. If P and E are parallel, theta equals to 0. And if they are anti parallel, theta equals to 180. In both condition, tau tau is equals to 0. Why? Because sin 90 is 1, but sin 0 and sin 180 are always 0. So sin 0 torque is 0. So this is a dipole in a uniform external field. Now let's discuss briefly when dipole is placed in non-uniform electric field. Now here this is electric field. This electric field is non-uniform and in increasing mode. So we move from left to right electric field increases. Now that means the electric field is weak at this point and much stronger at this point. Electric field directed force on plus charge is Q. But strong field gives strong force and weak field gives weak force. Strong force means long arrow, weak force means short arrow. So resultant force is in the long arrow direction. So electric field is in increasing mode, dipole moment is in same direction but force is in the direction of increasing manner. Listen, resultant force is in direction of increasing manner. Now let's discuss another case. When P and E are anti-parallel, direction of electric field in first case and in second case are same. Let's change direction of dipole. This negative becomes positive. This positive becomes negative. So the direction of P will be changed from negative to positive. Force acts on both charge is in same. Here field is strong, force is also strong. This time negative negative ripple therefore direction is changed. Positive positive ripple direction is changed. Again resultant force is in direction of the strongest force. Strongest force is from right to left means toward the decreasing mode. Toward the decreasing mode. Listen again. Resultant force is in direction of the strongest force and the strongest force is from right to left means resultant force is in direction of decreasing manners. So this is a topic 1.12. Thank you for watching my video.